voltage regulators are integrated circuits with three pins that are extremely useful and easy to connect. The 78 family of voltage regulators is very popular. They can provide voltages from 3 to 24 volts with a maximum input voltage of 35 volts and a maximum output current of 1 amp. These regulators have three pins. The left one is input where you connect the positive of the unregulated voltage supply. The central pin is ground or negative and the right one is output where you get the positive regulated output voltage. This is how you connect the regulator. Here goes the input voltage. We have a couple of filtering capacitors and here we have the output regulated voltage. Here we have the voltage regulator connected as per the diagram. It is a 7805 regulator. We have the input pin, ground and output. The two filtering capacitors 0.33 and 0.1 microfarads. And we have a little test charge, is a lamp. This is the voltage input from 7 to 35 volts. And here at the output, we should have a constant voltage of 5 volts. So let's test the circuit. This is just a test circuit, but don't forget that you will need a heat sink in the regulator because the extra volts going into the regulator are dissipated as heat. So you need to mount the regulator in a heat sink. I have my variable power supply connected to the input of the regulator and at the output I will measure the voltage with the multimeter. So let me turn on the power supply at 7 volts and you can see that the voltage at the output, the voltage that is going into the lamp is 501 volts and let's raise the voltage 10 volts and the output voltage does not change the regulator is doing its job so we can move the voltage the input voltage and we have a constant 5 volts at the output of the regulator if we move the voltage lower than 7 volts let's see 6.8, 7, 6, 5, 4, the regulator stops working. So we need a minimum of around 7 volts for the regulator to work. There are also variable voltage regulators, like the LM317. The connection is also simple. You need a 240 ohm resistor, a 5 kilo ohm potentiometer, and the two filtering capacitors. The output voltage of the regulator is given by this formula. It is a function of the resistor and the potentiometer values. This is the circuit. Here we have the input voltage and here the regulated output voltage. This is the LM317 regulator, 5K potentiometer and the 240 ohm resistor. 240 is not a commercial value, so I used a 220 and 22 ohm resistors in series. I'm using two 9 volt batteries in series connected to the regulator input and the output is connected to the multimeter to check the voltage. We have the potentiometer at its lower setting and we have the minimum voltage which is 1.25 volts. This is the minimum voltage that the regulator can give. If we move the potentiometer the voltage will increase up to the maximum voltage of the power supply. 
in this case is a little less than the 18 volts that the batteries can supply.